So this is a series called Learning with Chanchi, you know, with me. So this time we want to work uh, with Blender. And this is something I found that uh, with version 3.4. I was doing something, you know, aligning stuff to faces, and suddenly it stopped working. So they made some changes to, new, to this new version. So I'm going to explain you and guide through how to do it correctly. Okay, so first we need to create like a plane geometry nose. Any, any type of geometry will work, even a curve, it doesn't matter. You just need an object to create a geometry nodes uh, uh, network. So select your object, you press new. And then you have this node, which is like the input from this geometry here, and this is the output node. So if I cut this, you see that everything is is gone. But what about if I bring, uh, you know, um, you know, geometry primitive? In this case, I'm going to bring an icosphere, which is one of the most common things. As you can see, if I connect it, I get my icosphere. I can bring any type of geometry here. Um, you know, maybe grid or whatever maybe just bring just bring a cube that is more have a cube here right or I can bring again my plane Let, let's try with the icosphere which is fun um okay so the next thing I want to do if I want to align something to this object let's say I want to align maybe a cone here I'm gonna make it smaller I'm gonna get the pivot to the bottom of it and I'm going to reset the scale so that it's on the right scale so that it's small so if I want to add this cone here you know as a mesh that I want to distribute along these faces well I need a way to uh, I need first information right how it's going to affect the faces so here I will bring uh, mesh to points which is the best thing I found to attach stuff to them, so if I bring mesh to points, you'll see they are like points distributed. So let's bring this here, as you can see, they are distributing the points are distributing along the vertex of my icosphere. But you can change it to the edges, so as you can see, it's creating one on, at the middle of each edge, or in this case, I want it to be at the faces, right? So next, um we need, uh, uh, you know, to copy this geometry to each point. So let's create uh, instant to points. It's what it's, it's going to do. It's uh, it's going to create a copy of this object on on each one of the points. So the points disappear because it's trying to instant stuff. So how do I bring this here? So I can go here and just drag it. I will bring my object here then I just to the instance as you can see everything is already there but now I need it to point towards normal right so I need to do the blender to do this by applying it used to be done with a transfer attribute but that node has disappeared so by doing some research I found that there's something similar called sample mirror surface which what basically will do is gonna sample my surface you know and find uh, whatever information it's there in this case I want it to be the vector information and then I want that value going to the rotation right now it's not doing anything because there's nothing there's no information coming from it so what I need to do is just grab the icosphere connect it here and it will give it the information you know of my object this case the vector so what type of vector I need to specify the normal so I have my normal my vector here and I need to connect the vector normal to the value because that's the important thing that I want to get and as you can see it is going in the wrong direction still because it needs to be aligned so I need to create an align Euler to vector so I bring this here and now as you can see it's aligning in the wrong direction as you can see my object is pointing in the z direction so if I click here boop, it's pointing in the right direction oh but here's something as you can see there's a error here every time you connect a node like this it will try to connect to the first attribute in this case this one here 
So I need to connect it to the right one. So I'm going to connect the value to the vector because my output is a vector. So as you can see, this is creating or uh, making the cons to be in the right, the right direction. So now I can have fun. I just add this and I can, you know, increase the size, increase the subdivisions, or I can bring back my plane. Boop, I just put it there. Or I can bring my cube, and it's going to be exactly the same. And if I want to have more fun, I can add the subdivision, subdivide mesh, boop, you know, and as you can see, it's creating uh, a face, I mean, an, an instance on every face. And if I change, you know, the mesh to points things, the vertex, it will create on every vertex. So, you know, in this way, you can do it. And uh, stay tuned because I will be posting more tutorials, uh, especially on geometry node, which is a very, very fun uh, subject. And we can learn together. Well, see you soon.